Okay, this is a remake of a video I did back in 2007. As you can see the title, this is a remake of How to Get Super Nintendo on Your PC. Now, I wasn't really descript in my last video, which was back in 2007. I was actually new to the thing, so I just wanted to show everybody. I just wanted to show off and show everybody how to do it, but the thing was I wasn't being quite clear and I didn't cover every one of your questions. Plus, I'm still getting questions to this day on how to do stuff that are pretty simple to do. So, I'm just going to cover everything. First off, where to get the emulators at? It's pretty simple. You go to emulators-zone.com And then if you haven't already, just take this as the home page. Go to Super Nintendo, which is over here. If you click on it, you'll see this screen. And then, here is the list of emulators. Now, the ones below SNES 9 are bad. The ones above SNES 9 are good. Personally, I recommend, I recommend ZSNES because I've used it for a while and it's pretty simple. Snacks 9 is pretty good. I've used it before, but I just don't use it. Period. Right. Then all you do is just click it and download it. It's only a few kilobytes. No, there are not any viruses. If I've downloaded and if everybody else on YouTube's downloaded it, it doesn't have any viruses if you got it off of here. Once you do that, um, actually, I'll move on to the ROMs now. I'll show you how to set up everything in a bit. Now, where to get the ROMs? It's pretty simple. Now this is my personal recommendation of ROM site. This site is called oldiesgames.net. It's supposed to sound like all of these games.net. Like uh, there is a voting system on this one. It's pretty simple and goes pretty quick. There's only three, and once you do that, you get all of these. Now these guys are strictly old school, so you'll get stuff like you'll get stuff in a 16-bit era. No, no N64 or stuff like that, just strictly old school. So, what we're looking for here is Super Nintendo. And then, you press Enter Games. Now, the site is, this is a, this right here is a broken link. I've already tried it in three attempt videos. I don't know what's happening, but yeah. That's why I have a second site prepared. Probably by the time you see this video, it might be back up, but I'm not really sure. So, my second site is called Cool Roms. Now, this is a fairly popular site. They have pretty much all the ROMs if they're not copyrighted. Uh, last time I checked, more some of the N64 games were copyrighted, but for now, not the Super Nintendos, or at least the one I'm going to show you. So, um... If you want, if you want a ROM that's pretty popular, here's the list. Um, as you can see, they got Smash Brothers, Mario World. We're gonna do Mario World, but I'm just gonna show you how to get there first. All right, you go into ROM files, and then you go under Super Nintendo. And then once you do that, it's in alphabetical order. Just press S, and then scroll all the way down until you see the SUs. And here it is. And now, how to set up the emulator and the ROMs. Okay, basically all you do is go wherever you downloaded it to. And here's a question I've been getting. How do you extract the file? And another thing I've been getting is that it doesn't work. Please help. It should work. Here's pretty much all you have to do. You don't need anything. Just double click on the folder as you normally would for anything else and then just drag it and drop it onto the folder or desktop whichever and then the, the same thing goes for the ROM just drag and drop people and now how to set up ZSNES okay double click on your first time it'll ask you to press spacebar all you do well first let's show how you do the controls go to config then go to input all you do is just press set keys and it goes through a map if you have a controller, all you have to do is just do up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, L, R. Couldn't be any simpler. And for a second controller, just press number two, and then just do the same thing. And make sure you select your uh, device, otherwise it won't work. Oh, and one more thing about this. Um, if you have two, con if you're using two controllers for this, and it's and it's set to on, like take Mario World for 
no, take Mario All-Stars for example, it will know if you're using a second controller, it won't let you pass. So yeah, alright, on to how to load the ROM. Just go to game and go to load. Now, if your ROM doesn't automatically pop up, here's what you do. You basically go through the system file directory. Alright, you click on C drive, that's your main hard drive. You go all the way down to users, and then you click on the folder that has your name on it. And then you click on desktop, or wherever you put it. And then, it should appear here if you put it automatically on your desktop. Sort of like so. And then all you do is just double click, and it loads, just like that. So, that's pretty much it, people. If any more questions, please ask. I'm always ready. Alright, I'll see you guys later, and I hope this helped. I'm not removing my old uh, Super Nintendo video, because it's got a lot of views. Plus, it's still good to watch once in a while. I'll see you guys later.